cold. That is probably, I hope that's not too loud. It's cold. I'm sorry. I'm not turning the heat off. Um, but hello. Uh, welcome to my birthday book shopping road trip. The plan was to hit eight stores, but someone, both of us, woke up sick. So we'll see how long we go. Okay. We'll see. You're gonna get annoyed that I'm gonna chronicle this, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, get mad at me. Oh gosh. Okay, just give me two seconds. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna laugh at me? You're yeah. not gonna be in it? I don't wanna be in it. <laughs> I know you don't. I'm trying to not have you in it, but it keeps falling and making you in it. Okay, right, this is already too long. All I was trying to say was that the first one, I got Hearts of Fierce and Broken, book two, to the Curse Breakers. That's all I was trying to say. And then I found on the bud bargain table or whatever, The Mass Falling by Samantha Shannon, which I don't understand because this book literally came out last year. So I don't know why they already have it $20, like $19 off. But yeah, successful. First stop, on to the next Okay, one. stops two was fun to look at nothing found um that was more like a used bookstore it was very quiet in there there was like two people so i didn't want to be weirder than i already am right um stop three goodwill i didn't get anything got my sister a book that she needs for school someone got three cds over here fun times now we're off to barnes and noble i've never been to very excited we just left stop four, had to do math, Barnes and Noble. I used a lot of gift cards that I had saved up. So first, Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. One of my favorite authors, I say, but I haven't even read this and this is one of the most popular. So got that. Got Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo, which is the like short story collection that goes along with the Grishaverse. So since I am, making my way through the grocery verse. If you move, that phone's gonna drop, so I need to be fast. Um, and lastly, it dropped anyways. And lastly, Cytonic, book three, and Skyward by Brandon Sanderson, because I can finally read this. I won't. See, now they have all those like Kindle like eBooks, and I'm like, am I really supposed to read all three of those novellas? They're like five dollars each for like a 60 page thing. He's so It got dark and this one doesn't like me filming in front of him so I didn't film much yesterday but I don't know if I can stack all these up 
and not drop them. Um, we did some damage, but it's okay because it wasn't my money, so it's okay. If it's gift cards, then it's fine, right? Okay. Um, should we go in order? I feel like that would make the most sense. So I only got things from five of the seven stops, but yeah. So the first stop, which I already showed you, was an independent bookstore that's like 10 minutes from his house. So I've never been there before, but I actually really liked it. And then they have, they have like a whole bargain area, which I was not expecting for like an indie bookstore. So for that one, like I said, I already showed you guys this. I got a heart so fierce and broken by Bridget Kemmerer book two in the curse breakers trilogy which I'm super excited about because I really did like a, a heart so ugh, a heart so no a curse so dark and lonely um which if you guys don't know that's a YA fantasy beauty of the beast tree telling following our main character what's her name Harper Harper who has cystic fibrosis and and she is basically kidnapped and taken into this fantasy world to try to solve, um, you know, fix the curse upon Prince Ren. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast. Um, I'm excited to see more of the world and stuff that happens in this one because we were teased to that in the first one, but I really want to see it, like, expand. So I'm hoping that will happen in this. And then the paperback of the third book, um, because it's only been out, you know, in hardcover because it came out last year, is coming out on Tuesday. The 25th so i'm hoping to get that so that way i can have the full series and paperback and i can just finish this off you'll see a lot of trends of continuations of series or continuations of authors i've been reading because i'm trying to be better about that I'm trying to be better about finishing series um again i showed you guys this in the car we have bless me bless you sorry um i showed you guys this in the car uh we have the mask calling by samantha shannon which is book four in the bone season i think it's gonna be a six book series eight book series i don't remember um but i'm very excited these books are always gorgeous and i love the bee i think that's so cool and this one just came out last year and again i don't understand how it was on sale but it was only $8.98 and fun fact I went in our last stop book on, this is from book you know stop one but on stop seven I found it in the bargain section of a different store for $7.99 and I was like what's going on but we got this very excited I need to finish reading the mime order I need to restart that I was just not in the right headspace for adult fantasy dystopian ish at the time but I need to get going so I can continue on so that was from stop one. Stop two was a used bookstore, which was just a little overpriced. It was a bunch of mass markets and the mass markets were all like $5, if not more. And um, the mass markets when they were brand new were $8. So I don't really feel like buying them for five unless it was, you know, something I really wanted and it wasn't. So I didn't get anything from there. Cool to look around though. Um, Stop three. Oh, did I get this right? Yeah. All right. So stop three. I also didn't get anything from that was a goodwill um, that we usually go to because the selection is really well good. It was wiped clean. I have never seen so few books in that store. Um, I did get my sister a book that she needed for class though, so I got Beloved by Toni Morrison. I do hope to read that at some point, but got that for her. Then third place we went was the Barnes and Noble um up in Manchester New Hampshire which was one one we have haven't been to before so I'm kind of excited and then from there I don't I, I showed you guys this too I got A Dark Shade of Magic by V. Schwab something I've wanted to read since like 2018 um so very excited to finally own this this is following um our main character Kel who lives in a world where there's like four or a universe I guess where there's four London so there's like red London black London gray London and white London I think um and he can like travel between the worlds between the Londons 
That's all I really know. And then, oh, and I told you guys, I love you, Schwab. I also got two copies of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue for Christmas, so my V.E. Schwab collection is growing steadily. And I say she's one of my favorites, but I've literally just read Vicious and Vengeful. That's all I've read. And then the Extraordinaries. So, yeah. <laughs> um, another book I'm very hyped for, we have Language of Thorns by Lee Bradigo. This is a very interestingly, like, textured jacket. Um, but this book is just freaking gorgeous. Um, you know... The cover of this is pretty and stuff, but the freaking and I mean, come on. And then like the spine, it's gorgeous. And then with, this is a collection of short stories set in the Grishaverse. And on the inside with each short story, there's a different border. So you can tell like each one is a different one because the different borders, it just, it smells great as well, but yeah. I love short stories. I don't read them often enough. I used to read them a lot more when I was like in college and in high school. But yeah, so I'm excited to read these and continue on reading more stuff in the Grishaverse. Again, with continuing series, we got Zytonic, which I'm super hyped for. I thought I might be getting this for Christmas, so I didn't get it from the 50% off Barnes Noble sale that happened a couple weeks ago. But I totally should have because I didn't get it for Christmas. Um, but this is book three in the Skyward series, and I'm so hyped. The first book was amazing. Second book, didn't love as much, but still really liked. I like that it expanded on the world and everything. Excited to see what happens here in book three. I um, have not read the novellas. I do need to get those because I guess those are important. Um, but I do want to read this soon. I might have to give myself a little recap on uh, what happened in the last ones because it has been, you know, over a year since I read the last one. Um, so yeah, but super excited about this. Then we went to an indie bookstore um, that was semi close by and I got The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I mean, a classic. Uh, I have it right here actually, but um, I'm gonna say Daisy Jones and the Six um, by Taylor Jenkins Reid is one of my favorite books of all time and I loved this audiobook so I'm super excited to read another one this is an arc an arc that I got from uh my library and uh, yeah one of my prized possessions because everyone was like fighting for this um but I just got it from the library um as a prize for our summer reading but yeah uh, but this is following our main character who is Monique and she is tasked to write a story on like the reclusive Hollywood star lit Evelyn Hugo and about her life um, and Monique's like why me though like I'm just like this she's like an, a younger reporter she doesn't have like much of a following like she's kind of un unknown so that's like a home mystery of the series um and then we went to two of the traditional like used bookstores like huge places i didn't find anything in the first one though they did have like almost all the wheel of time books in hardcover and i really had to hold back but i haven't even read the first one but once i do and if i hopefully like it then i might go back there because they were like 10 15 dollars instead of like the 30 something amazon is charging so very excited about that but from the second one um which was literally this woman had changed had um transformed her garage into like a huge used bookstore and i was like that's the dream yes um but i got the aeronauts winless um winless i don't know how you say that by jim butcher um so the thing about this is i've almost bought this a lot of times however it's the first book in a series this was published i think it's like 2017 or 2018 or something no continuation has ever happened and i don't know if it ever will so that's why i was kind of apprehensive uh but you know we're just gonna pretend it's a standalone and we're gonna read it and pretend it's a standalone because who cares uh but this was three dollars and like i said i've almost bought it a bunch of times so 
now I didn't. So we went, oh, I should mention, I also got this from Box Lunch when we were up in Manchester, New Hampshire. This after the like, we had like 75% off clearance and I had a $5 birthday thing. So this is only $3. Yes, living my best life. All right, into what we got at Books A Million. I should mention, he also got six mangas, but he doesn't want to show them. So, yeah. Um, so the first thing I got is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This, as of right now, is sort of his only standalone, but this is supposed to become a series at some point. Um, he just hasn't been working on it, I guess. I don't really know. Um, but since I loved First Era Mistborn so much, and then I also love, you know, Star Sight, um, I mean, the Skyward series, I wanted to get more into more Brandon Sanderson. I'm very annoyed that they only seem to sell this in a uh, mass market in the US. So that's what I got. So yeah, um, it's very small writing. Unlike this one, the Jim Bridger one, it's a mass market, but the writing is a lot bigger. So that's the thing about mass markets is like, they're not all the same. But yes, very excited to read more Brandon Sanderson. This is something, a magic system with colors. I don't really know. I don't want to know. Um, then I have Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secret of the Universe by Benjamin, oh gosh, I forgot his name. Lear Sainz. I'm so sorry. I totally for just blanked on how to say that person's name. Um... All I know is I've heard it's gonna make me cry. It's won a bunch of awards. Everyone loves it. That's all I know. I also got It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. This is a um, contemporary romance following this girl named Piper who is like stuck up rich or whatever and is then sent to this town in Maine, I think. No, no, Washington. Sent into this like small fishing town in Washington. And then she meets this like grumpy, like fisherman guy. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, everyone and their mother loves this. I heard bad things about um, one of her first novels, Fix Her Up, because of the um, some of the like things that were happening in the I don't know I didn't hear great things about fixer up so I was kind of apprehensive about making up with Tetsu Bailey but I've seen nothing but good reviews for this book so I'm excited and the second book hook line and sinker comes out like February or this month something like that I also got winter keep by Kristen Kishore which is book four in the Graceling series which was originally a trilogy I guess um but then this came out Ooh, 2020 I believe I don't think it was last year uh I don't want to read the back because I still have to read Bitter Blue but yeah these are more companion novels you see the characters um in each of the stories but they're more focused on a different person in the like their main character is different for each one um I really liked Grace Thing and Fire and so I'm super excited to continue I have the old covers and I was trying to collect the old covers for the original three because they all match but they this just came out so it's got its own cover but when they did you know the redesigns to match it I don't have those covers um so this will stand out a little bit but it's a gorgeous cover so I'm not mad um and then is this the last book yeah I guess it is the last book I have is Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco this was only $3.97 in the bargain section and this is book two in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I really enjoyed Stalking Jack the Ripper when I read that, oh, that was 2019? Yeah, 2019. I listened to the audiobook. Um, I started listening to this book, I think I probably made it like here-ish, um, but then my audiobook timed out so I haven't continued. So I'm glad to have a physical copy. I also got a physical copy of Stalking Jack the Ripper from a, a library book sale for like two or three dollars a couple months ago. So now I have books one and two, even though this one is paperback and the other one is hardcover. They also had books three and four in hardcover, um, but I kind of want to read this one before I get that because 
I don't know if I will like this as much because I don't usually read like mystery thrillers but I do like like true crime and stuff so we'll see if um if I like this one I will probably get books three and four and that's it I'm sure I've got a lot of editing to do to cut out the awkwardness of this video because I don't like filming in a room with someone else but you know here we are so I am gonna try to figure out how to Jenga this into my already stuffed bookshelves even though I just rearranged from Christmas so also if you want to see what I got for Christmas give it a thumbs up and um it's not too late you know uh I also ordered some books online for my birthday for different people um, and I still have some more gift cards so this is not the end but I do understand I have a problem so that's the first step right admitting you have a problem but am I gonna do anything about it no but it's okay so I'm gonna rearrange and get these shelves up yes I still have Christmas decorations that's also a thing I need to do but it's okay um so I will see you guys whenever I decide I want to film again. Anyways, have a good rest of your day. Bye.